Are you guys ready for another episode of K-Beauty This or That? So K-Beauty This or That is when we take two really similar products and we compare them against each other. We break down ingredients, we break down effectiveness, we break down their prices, ultimately to decide which one is better for you, this or that. Because let's face it, there's a lot of really great K-Beauty products out there, but there's so little time, so little money, and only one face in which to put them on, right? So we're gonna decide which product is better for you. So today I've got an epic showdown between two Centella creams. We've got a Propolis showdown plus two really popular barrier creams are gonna go head to head. So give this video a big thumbs up and let's get started. <music> So first up is our Sika Cream Battle. I have the ever popular Claire's Midnight Blue Calming Cream going up against the underdog, you might say, the Iope Derma Gentle Sika Cream. So both of these products claim to soothe irritated skin, to calm it down, and they also have uh, anti-redness capabilities. Now regardless of marketing, both of these products heavily rely on Centella in order to achieve that anti-irritation result. So let's talk about the Claire's first. So the Claire's is really kind of pushing forward a star ingredient called guazoline. Now guazoline is two times removed from chamomile oil. It is derived from the chamomile plant. Guazoline comes from azoline, which comes from chamomile. So it is two times removed. And guazoline is mostly used in cosmetics for its blue color. And that is what really sets Claire's apart in the market, right? This color is stunning. It's this really beautiful cornflower blue color. Because it is sort of derived from chamomile, this is where guazoline kind of gets its anti-irritation and its soothing, calming properties. It's very anti-inflammatory ingredient. Now, guazoline is the namesake of Midnight Blue Calming Cream and the Midnight Blue line that is offered from Claire's. It is the star ingredient. But how much guazoline is really in here and how much guazoline can really affect the skin? This is a good question. I'm not going to dive in too deep on this one, but what I will tell you is guazoline does make an appearance pretty low on the ingredients list. It actually is ingredient number 28 out of 39. It's pretty low on the list. And of course, we're finding Centella extract much, much higher on the ingredients list. And what I want to talk about is the six peptides involved in this formula. Yeah, peptides. You might be surprised to learn that peptides are here, but uh, peptides can have some really fantastic skin repairing benefits. They're not just here to make your skin firm and to fight fine lines. They can do more than just that. Now, five of the six peptides that are being used are EGFs, and these are basically peptides that are responsible for wound healing and skin repairing. So we have five different ones. The sixth peptide that is in this ingredients list is acetyl hexapeptide 8, which is one peptide that we've talked about a bit here. Remember, this is that Botox peptide. This is a peptide that has a pretty immediate effect on your skin, and it can really help to smooth your skin out quite quickly. Not exactly sure why that is found in this cream, but the five EGF peptides in here are are quite uh, interesting and quite exciting to find in this list. Now let's quickly just talk about the texture of this cream. It is very thin and very, very light. It absorbs in the skin really, really quickly. I would not call this very moisturizing or nourishing on the skin by any means. It certainly leaves the top layer of your skin feeling silky, but it doesn't really have a lot of moisturizing benefits. Okay, so let's move on to the Iope Derma Gentle Sika Cream, and I'm calling this the under dog in the battle because it's certainly not as popular as the Claire's Midnight Blue Calming Cream, but it definitely deserves our attention. So star ingredient here, this is calling itself a Sika cream, and we do have Centella in here. However, it's not just Centella extract. They are using Matacasicide. So as you may know, Matacasicide is one of the four active compounds found in the Centella plant. Matacasicide is the one that is the most responsible for anti-irritation benefits. It's anti-inflammatory. Uh, it's also very soothing, calming to the skin. It has antioxidant protection. Antioxidants are fabulous because they help to repair damage on the skin, but they can also help protect 
further damage from occurring. Metacasticide is also a hydrator for the skin and it has some great anti-redness benefits. Every Cica cream out there is going to have something just a little bit different going on with it, right? You can't just make a Cica cream. There's got to be something special. So what's the special ingredient here? The special ingredient is going to be something called cypress tree leaf extract. Now this is a uh, herb that is found a lot in traditional Chinese medicine actually it's been used for centuries because it's well known to soothe skin and help skin repair now other notable ingredients in here we're gonna find uh, panthenol shea butter as well as plant derived squalolane now I must mention that this ingredients list is uh, quite a bit shorter than the Claire's ingredients list there's about 22 uh, ingredients on the Iope ingredients list versus Claire's 39 it's a much simpler formula as far as the texture goes, this um, is a little bit more balmy um, feeling on the skin than the Claire's. It definitely has a very protective element to it, slightly ointment-like, but don't get confused here because this is never greasy. It is never heavy on the skin. It actually absorbs really, really nicely. Okay, so I wanna talk briefly about my experience using both of these creams. So first let's talk about the Claire's. Claire's definitely works to soothe irritation on your skin. This is actually one of the first Centella-centric products I ever used, and I was amazed at like what quick relief it brought to my skin. However, that being said, uh, I have been using this cream now for almost a year and I've used a bunch of other Centella creams since then. And I have to tell you that Claire stands out in my mind as a product that I definitely need to reapply a lot to keep that relief going on my skin especially when I have more severe irritation, particularly around my mouth or when I have a sinus issues or allergy issues and my nose gets rubbed raw from always like sneezing and blowing it uh, in tissue a lot. Claire's is a product that I have to kind of carry with me throughout the day because it doesn't just work like in my morning routine and then I'm okay until my nighttime routine. This is something that I feel like it does work immediately, but it's not long lasting relief. And so I have to keep reapplying this. This isn't moisturizing. I've said that a few times. I really want to kind of drive that home. This just does not moisturize skin. And that's okay because it never claimed to. This never claimed to be a moisturizer. This is definitely marketed as a, like an ointment, like a special treatment that you use when you need it. So the Iope definitely gives you immediate relief from irritation. As soon as you apply it, your skin is gonna go, ah, it's gonna feel better. I did find that the Iope is a lot more long lasting um, irritation relief than the Claire's. I definitely felt that this was more of a Cica cream that I could put on in the morning and I would be okay until my nighttime routine to reapply this for irritation care. This works as a moisturizer and this isn't like a Cica cream that works as a moisturizer. On its own, this is a good moisturizer. Like even if you took the Centella and Cica cream out of it, even if you weren't looking for irritation, anti-irritation benefits, this is a good moisturizer. Like this is a fantastic moisturizer. Let me tell you why I say that because it all comes down to that texture. This nourishes the skin from the inside, but from the outside on the top layer, there's no grease, there's no heaviness. It absorbs quickly. It works so well in the morning time because there's no absorb time. You can go in with your sunscreen immediately. It works super well with other layers on top of it too. So the Iope retails for $20 and for that price you get 50 milliliters of product. The Claire's has two different sizes to take note of. Their kind of original size or the first size is a 30 milliliter jar and that retails for $25. And then they have this 60 milliliter tube that they came out with, I think just over a year ago. And this retails around $30. So what's the question here? This or that, right? Which one is better? Well, I have to say, personally speaking, the Iope really edges ahead in almost every single category. But I feel like I have to mention that texture again, because even though I, I personally feel that the Iope is better, that doesn't mean that it's better for you. I want to point out the fact that some of us don't want our Cica creams to be a moisturizer or to be nourishing. Some of our irritation issues are not linked to dryness. So if that's you, if you've got irritation on your skin, but it's not really dry skin, you don't really need moisture, you just need irritation relief, 
I think the Claire's will probably be a good choice for you. But if you have more dryness related irritation or you're looking for a product to do double duty to soothe your skin and to also be a good moisturizer or you're just in the market for a good moisturizer with maybe some benefits of metacasticide, then I think the Iope is the right choice for you. Next up is the Battle of Propolis. It sounds historical and legendary, doesn't it? I Unique Propolis Vitamin Synergy Serum going head to head with the Skin Food Royal Honey Propolis and Rich Essence. So both of these harness the power of propolis. Propolis is a B byproduct that has a lot of really great benefits for skin. I think most of us go towards propolis for its brightening benefits. It can really give your skin a healthy glow, but it also has some great anti-acne benefits. It's antibacterial, it's anti-inflammation. Um, it's just all around a very good ingredient that is gonna serve a lot of different skin types. Okay, so first up, let's talk about the Eye Unique Propolis Vitamin Synergy Serum. It's kind of a long name. So the Eye Unique utilizes 70% propolis extract. That is a good amount of propolis. And I have to be honest with you, propolis uh, products have been like kind of popular in K-Beauty for a long time. And I must admit that many out there don't use a lot of propolis. Honestly, some of these companies will market their products as propolis centric products. And there's like hardly any propolis in it. Like I'm thinking <laughs> Wish Trend 15% propolis. When I want a propolis product, I want propolis. And this has a lot of propolis, 70% but there's more to it than just propolis alone. This is actually also using uh, what is the vitamin in the propolis vitamin synergy uh, serum name. The vitamin they're referring to is 12% hippophaeraminoids fruit extract or C buckthorn fruit. And this actually contributes a lot of vitamin C to the formula, which is an excellent skin brightener. Not only that, but we've also got niacinamide high up on the list. Niacinamide does a ton of stuff for your skin, but one that we know particularly that it does well is brightening. So you can tell by just looking at this ingredients list, they are really pushing the brightening benefits with this uh, serum formulation. Other uh, ingredients of note that I want to highlight is the fact that this also contains honey extract. As far as red flags go, we do have one. I got to call out the bergamot oil on this ingredients list. We do have the use of bergamot essential oil. As far as the texture on this, so, so pleasant. Uh, this is a very hydrating serum. It's got a nice, uh, thin hydrating texture, but it's hard to explain this, but it's got like a very silky and pillowy feel as you move it across your skin. Such a pleasant uh, serum to use just texture wise. It's very, very nice. Sinks into your skin really quickly. No stickiness here, no tackiness at all. Uh, really no finish to this one. Uh, it's definitely very hydrating, silky on the skin with no finish. So Skin Food Royal Honey Propolis and Rich Essence. So this utilizes 63% propolis. Wait a second, is that a downgrade from the iUnique 70% propolis extract? Hold on, not quite, not quite. Let me tell you why. We gotta go a little further into this ingredients list. So 63% propolis extract plus 10% royal jelly, which is an excellent skin moisturizer. It's really great at hugging hydration into your skin, plus 10% honey extract. That is right. There is more honey extracts in the skin food um, essence than there is in the Eye Unique serum. There is also a little bit of ingredient boosting coming from two fermented ingredients. Now, fermentation has a lot of benefits, but this is particularly going to boost the brightening benefit of propolis. As far as red flags go, I couldn't find any. Uh, this this is truly fragrance free. No artificial fragrance, no essential oils. I don't think I mentioned it about the Eye Unique, but of course, neither one of these products is uh, containing any drying alcohols at all. So alcohol free. As far as texture goes, this is quite runny and very thin, especially compared to the Eye Unique. It is much runnier. That being said, it has a more moisturizing feel on the skin. It absorbs very, very quickly um, into the skin. It's got some nice balancing moisture to it, but it doesn't ever feel very heavy and it never leaves a greasy or shiny finish on your skin. 
I will say though, it's not a sticky finish by any means, but occasionally you might feel a touch of tack to this. If you just put your finger to your skin, it might feel just a little bit of tack. That is completely alleviated as soon as you put your next skincare layer on, but I just thought I would mention it. Okay, so this or that, which one should you consider getting? Well, there's a couple of main differences here that I want to point out about these products. Number one, if you are have sensitive skin, if you are sensitive to fragrance particularly, the skin food is going to be a better choice for you. Remember, completely fragrance free where the eye unique does contain bergamot. Now, I also want to talk about that brightening. Remember, I want to get my glow with propolis and I must admit, you will probably see a quicker benefit, maybe not better, but quicker benefit with I unique. I unique works really fast to give your skin a glow. Remember, we got propolis, we've got vitamin C, we've got niacinamide on this list. So it makes sense that it's probably just going to give you a quicker benefit on your skin. When I go side by side and really think about my experience of using these two products, I don't really think that one edges ahead like it makes your skin brighter. I can't really claim one works better, but I can tell you for sure the I unique works faster. As far as price goes, um, they're both 50 milliliter bottles. iUnique routinely retails for $17. I think it's quite affordable price. And the skin food is all over the place <laughs> price wise. Um, I've seen this retail as high as $39. And I believe that that is the full retail price that is reported on this one. And the only reason I say full retail, right, with the air quotes, is just because you can easily buy this for like $20. Uh, I bought my bottle recently on Yes Style for $25. I don't think there's any reason to buy it at $39. You can easily find it on sale. And our final battle is a battle of barrier creams. I have two very popular barrier creams that I want to talk about. And ever since I, I got these products, you guys have been asking me to do this comparison. So here it is. We're going to be talking about one of my favorites, the Iliune Ceramide Edo Concentrate Cream versus the Etude House Soonjung 2X Barrier Intensive Cream. Now these are both uh, moisturizers that claim to help support your skin's barrier function. But as you'll find out as we dive in deeper, these really do it two different ways. They have two different philosophies on how to take care of your barrier. So first up, let's talk about the Illy Hune Cream. So this is, as the name suggests, a ceramide moisturizer. This contains ceramides. And they're using something that they've developed, um, something called a ceramide skin complex. And basically what this is, is it's pseudo ceramides or man-made ceramides. They're delivering it to your skin in a very unique manner in encapsulated technology. So when you put this cream um, onto your skin, you will notice that there's some little white flecks in this cream. And these are the ceramide capsules. As you kind of uh, spread this across your skin, work it into your skin, those capsules burst, delivering those ceramides into your skin deeper. That's really the goal here is to get those ceramides into your skin deeper. And we all know that skincare, the skincare game is all about absorption. You got to get those ingredients to absorb into your skin deeply in order for them to be effective. And so there's a lot of research and development behind this whole concept with the Iliun cream about getting those ceramides into your skin deeper. Now, as a ceramide cream, I do feel that this is formulated pretty darn well. It's very easy uh, to just throw some ceramides into a cream and say, it's a ceramide cream, right? But those of us slightly more in the know know that ceramides alone aren't the only thing, right? Ceramides work better with their friends. <laughs> We're gonna call them friends. Uh, and you know, you hear me say this all the time, right? Cholesterol, fatty acids work better with ceramides. You wanna see all three of those um, to get a little bit more of a complete uh, ceramide benefit. And I'm happy to report there is cholesterol here and fatty acids. We do have ceramide friends 
helping the ceramides out in this formula. As far as the texture goes, this is quite a pleasant, uh, creamy texture. So besides just the little encapsulated flakes that you'll see, this cream, when you kind of like work it onto your skin, it will feel quite uh, silky and smooth and creamy on your skin, but it absorbs very, very quickly. It absorbs very quickly. It deeply nourishes the inside of your skin, but on the top of your skin, is like nothing. It's a very neutral finish. There's no greasiness. There's no shine. There's no weight uh, for it to absorb either. It really does absorb into that skin very, very quickly. Barrier creams, particularly a lot of ceramide heavy barrier creams can be just downright greasy right? Just downright greasy. They nourish your skin, but they just leave like this film on top of your skin. And this isn't like that at all. So Soon Jung 2X Barrier Intensive Cream. Let's talk about it. So this is not a ceramide cream. This is definitely going to support your barrier, but they're going about it with a little bit of a different philosophy. And they're kind of going more of the soothing and anti-irritation route. So the star ingredient, there's two here and that's where we're getting the 2X. It's from 2X, two major big ingredients. And uh, the first one is madacasticide. We talked about madacasticide earlier in the video. Remember, this is the compound found in Centella, most responsible for anti-irritation benefits. So this is a very soothing and calming ingredient. Not only that, but it's actually a great hydrator for your skin and it also contains antioxidants. Antioxidants, very good to have because they repair damage on your skin, but also protect your skin from further damage. So this is kind of where the soothing and repairing is coming from. But we also have the use of panthenol. And panthenol is really interesting for your moisture barrier because it is a great humectant. It does attract a lot of hydration to your skin and helps to bind it there. But panthenol is also very supportive of your skin barrier function as well as your skin's lipid layer. It helps to hug hydration into your skin. Panthenol has also has some interesting research behind it because it may help your skin produce more of its own lipids, which is going to help your skin effectively keep hydration in more. So especially if you're suffering from some dehydration or a weak moisture barrier function, this is going to be a really good ingredient to include in your skincare routines because it's really going to help fortify your skin over time. This name confused me because it's called an intensive cream. Intensive cream sounds intensive. It sounds heavy, right? I was so shocked at the texture of this the first time I tried it because it's so light. It's a very light, um, almost more lotion rather than cream feel on the skin, like a light, like a lotion cream hybrid. This is actually such a great cream because lightweight, hydrating, absorbs quickly, no greasy finish or anything. All that being said, it does protect some really wonderful, breathable, non like oppressive protection for the skin, particularly against hydration loss, transepidermal water loss. Okay, so the ultimate question, this or that, which one should you consider? Well, the biggest difference here, I think you probably picked up on this, it's the texture. We got to talk about the two different textures. So the Iliun cream is definitely more of a medium weight, super nourishing, moisturizing cream. And I really think that if you have more dry skin, I think that the Iliun is probably better for you. I think particularly if you're looking for a barrier cream because you're dealing with massive barrier issues like a damaged moisture barrier, Iliun might be a better one to go for because it's a little bit more of a repairing type of cream. Now, if your skin is a little bit more on the oily side, you don't want a medium weight cream. You just want something that is going to be protective enough and non-oppressive. I don't think Iliun is oppressive, but I think when you are dealing with more oil on your skin or you just like lighter weight moisturizers, the Iliun could feel heavy for you. It could. If that's you, if that describes you, you're going to like the Soon Jung Cream because this offers the protection that, that your skin needs for your barrier, but with a much more breathable, very lightweight. Like I said, this is almost more lotion-y than it is a cream. The intensive name, I don't think does the texture justice. Price-wise, they're both affordable in their own way. The Iliun Cream retails around $20, but for that price, you get 200 milliliters. What? 
it's a, I mean, this is a huge uh, tube, right? This is actually something that you can use on your body as well as on your face. So this is great for those of you who like generous sizes. You like to put it all over your neck. Maybe you'll use it as a hand cream as well. It's a great size for that. Fabulous price for that much product. Soon Jung um, is a more standard size moisturizer. This is 60 milliliters, but still a very, very affordable, reasonable price at about $15. So I hope you enjoyed that installment of K-Beauty This or That. I have a lot of fun putting these together. I think you guys have a lot of fun watching them. So I'm curious to know, let me know in that comment box, what this or that comparison do you want to see next? If you absolutely love K-Beauty, but you're not subscribed to my channel, please consider hitting subscribe before you click out of this video. Um, I release two Korean skincare focused videos every single week. And if you do hit subscribe, don't forget to turn on those notifications. You'll never be out of the loop when the new video drops. I absolutely can't wait to see you guys in the next video. I hope you're having a fantastic day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.